Groucho Marx. In You Bet Your Life. And now, here he is, the one, the only... again with a thousand dollars for one of our couples and if any of them say the secret word the duck will fly down and pay him a hundred dollars the word tonight is foot you're all cracked and half cracked <laughs> 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 more business i guess in what way are they screwy i mean I don't know, they just, uh, seems to me all the people that couldn't get along with one another in the city all moved up by us in Green Valley, you know. Green Valley, you say? Uh-huh, Green Valley Saugus. Where is, oh, is that in Saugus? Oh, that... uh, well, we're... That's where Hoot Gibson used to have the rodeos or something. We're, we're 32 miles out of Saugus yet, up in the hills. I'd like to come and see you sometime. Oh, please do. I'm daffy enough to go up there. <laughs> well, Tell us about the people who live in this valley. Oh, how... Well, I mean, golf, for instance, we have an only phone there and then the middle You have the only phone is in the post office? Uh, yeah, but it's the only phone within 14 mile radius. And... Well, suppose somebody has a fire, they live out there half a mile or so. How oh, they, 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 they have one of these husband? gongs and they bring the gong and one gets in the car and starts tooting the horn, drives up and down, and then finally everybody starts running where the fire is at. And then we have you, our... you go too to the fire? Oh, sure, sure, why not? What do you do, bring more gasoline? <laughs> like to watch fires. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, there's money in it, I guess. And then we have the only telephone there, and sometimes in the middle of the night, somebody will call up and say, uh, Well, how does somebody you... call up if you have the only phone? Well, they call from town, and they say, uh, Are you late, Joe? And I say, Yeah, what do you want? Will you go home and tell the old man I couldn't quite make it tonight. I'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> or um, someone will say, uh, Did you, Joe? Yeah. You know what? When I came over this weekend, we forgot to shut off the water. Will you run up to the house and see if the water has been shut off? You better keep it running if they expect a fire. Oh, uh, sometimes we get a call. Miss you, Joe. Yeah, we go over and tell the old lady I'm in jail and I need somebody to bail me out. <laughs> well, you you a lot of excitement up there, huh? Yeah, and how? You're not kidding. What do you do specifically for excitement up there? Oh, we have lots of parties, you know. Sometimes one gets out and says, uh, we're all going to have a party over Joe's. And... Uh, then uh, in final Who is Joe? You keep talking about Joe. Oh, that's me. Oh, you know, Joe Hanna. Joe Hanna, yeah. Joe, Martin, and Joe. Oh. So then uh, they'll all, uh, we'll run out and say, no, we don't want part of your, our house. Let's go someplace else, you see. So finally the whole bunch of scatters in the last place we end up, that's where we had the party. Usually the guy that doesn't want to get out of bed, that's where we had the party. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see how I can build you $20. These are all French words and expressions that we have adopted for cooking and serving foods. Here's your first question. How much of the $20 will you bet? Yeah, you, you just decide. Nine, I've done a lot of talking. Nineteen. That's right. You've been carrying the bag for pinched over here. <laughs> You're going to bet $19. Slices of bone meat or fish are called what? Filet. Filet is right. <laughs> Off to a great start with $39. I always thought Philly was a town in Pennsylvania. Remember, you're going for $1,000 tonight. Now, how much of your $39 are you going to brisk this time? $35. Yeah, go ahead. You're the boss. $35. <laughs> $35. Whites of eggs whipped to a standing froth with sugar is called what? Meringue. Meringue is right. You now have $74. Used to be a price fighter named Owen Meringue. Now, here's your third question. How much will you bet? Come on, boss. Seventy. Yeah. On a menu, how is the soup being served that day indicated? By what expression? Soup de jour. Soup de jour is right. You've now climbed to $144. Needs your last chance to beat the other couples. How much will you bet? You can bet it all. You can bet it all. You can bet it all. Sure. Come on, let's gamble, girl. Okay. Whatever you say. Well, you've gone up in the world. Before you were boys, now you're a girl. Eh? What is the French word that means a small cup of coffee taken at the close of a meal? Demi toss. Demi toss is right. Put it there. And you wind up with two hundred eighty-eight dollars. Thanks and good luck from the Desoto Plymouth dealers.
departure, we have a man with an unusual occupation and a housewife for you now. Mr. Harry Alsing and Miss Mrs. Sonia Kessler. Come on in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Mr. Harry uh, Alsing and Mrs. Uh, Sonia Kessler. Mrs. Kessler. Now, uh, just a moment. You were up here a minute ago, and this isn't fair, you know. No, I wasn't here before. You didn't fool me, Sonia. The moment you came out, I knew you were a twin sister. Where are you from, Mrs. Kessler? I come from Pinsk. <laughs> well, where? Obviously. Where would anybody be from but Pinsk? <laughs> you know, I never see these people until they come out here. Maybe I should. Uh, apparently, I can't trust them. Harry Olsing, eh? Yes. Where are you from? And if you say Pinsk, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. How old are you, Harry? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Are you married? Very much so. Where did you meet your wife? Met my wife at a medicine show in Syracuse, New York. <laughs> what was your wife doing around this medicine show? She was uh, playing piano at that time. Afterwards, she organized the girls' band. She was on the road for quite some time. It's called Gladys and her gladiolas. Oh. <laughs> Good name for a band. <laughs> What do you do, Mr. Halsing? Well, at the present time, I'm a key man at Universal Studios. A key man? You mean you're a burglar? No. What's no, a key man? I work in the key room there. I have uh, charge of about 500 keys. Oh, uh, are these, the various, oh, these are keys to the various offices and dressing rooms. And, oh. uh, are they anything like the Florida keys? They, <laughs> they no. have keys in Florida, no. do you? No. We have some skeleton keys there what are those? To go and open. if a skeleton has to open a dressing room door you give him one of these keys well we have to go you mentioned you have skeleton keys are those keys to frank sinatra's dressing room frank sinatra's not at universal <laughs> that was a sort of a joke sorry i mentioned it. <laughs> you know if you're going to make a joke about a skeleton you, you can't say sydney green street <laughs> you're going to find it pretty difficult winning any money in <laughs> well, I worked together with Mary Livingston in the same department. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, I did. And uh, about a year later, I came up to the same department, and I saw one of our girlfriends, and she told me she's married to Jack Benny. To who? To Jack Benny. And, Benny? Uh, Jack Benny. <laughs> and I asked her, who's who is, Jack... Who is Jack Benny? Well, I... I'd never heard of him before. I haven't heard of him yet. Who is he? <laughs> well, that was 29 years ago. I didn't hear of him then. Well, he was only 10 years old at the time. <laughs> well, enough of this talk. Let's see if you can win some big money. Now, you earn your $20, no more than our other couples, you'll get a chance at the $1,000 question. I can't tell you how much you have to win, but George is going to remind our listeners. Mrs. Fox and Mrs. Mushinsky won $288, and the secret word is foot. Here we go. Let's see how high I can build you $20. You selected locations of sports stadiums and arenas. Here's your first question. How much will you bet? 19 and a half. Okay. 19 and a half. Okay. In what city is Soldier Field? Uh, Chicago. Right. Chicago is right. Well, you're off to a start with $39.50. Let me go in for $1,000 tonight. How much of your $39.50 are you going to bet this time? $39.50. And what city is Fenway Park? Fenway Park is in Brooklyn. Oh. Time's up. I'm sorry. It's in Boston. It's where the Red Sox play. You now have 50 cents. Well, don't get discouraged. Here's your third question. How much will you bet? 50 cents. 50 cents. And what city is Abbott's Field? Uh, Abbott's Field? That's in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is correct. You now have one dollar. I spent a bad seven days there last autumn. Uh, <laughs> is your last chance to beat the other couples? How much of the buck are you going to bet? The whole thing. The whole thing. And what city is the Sugar Bowl? The Sugar Bowl is in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans, Louisiana is absolutely right. You wind up with two dollars. Nobody leaves here with two dollars. I'll give you one more question, get this right, and I'll bring the total up to twenty-five. Are you ready? Who is buried in Grant's tomb? 
General Grant. General Grant is right. Put it there. Thank you. Oh, Groucho, uh, we invited some young dancing instructors to the show tonight, and just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected Mr. John Monahan. His partner is a housewife, Mrs. Esther Schulman. Folks, would you please come in and meet Groucho Marx? Welcome to your bet your life. Don't tell me there's another one. There's probably a hundred of them. They're like bees. Benjamin, come here. This is your idea of a joke, huh? Something like putting the firecrackers in my trousers last week. I'll have to watch you more carefully from now on. Uh, okay, George, you, come here. I want to... I want to talk to you a minute more. How did you get these people? You know, people are always asking me when I'm on the street and around different places, say, how do you get the contestants? And uh, I'd like to know. This is interesting how you get uh, triplets like this. Uh, you well, just didn't walk along the street and find them, did you? No. I you must have gone to a lot of trouble to play this people's joke, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> we ran an ad in uh, one of the Los Angeles papers. Which, uh, which one was it? The uh, Times, I believe. You ran an ad? You wanted triplets? Imagine the average woman saying to her husband, gee, it would be wonderful if we had triplets. And he goes out and puts an ad in the morning paper. <laughs> <laughs> you better go now. Let me get on with this thing. All you right. go back and play with your yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Esther Schulman, where are you from? I'm certainly you getting sick of that question. I'm from Pence. <laughs> Pence must be a ghost town by now. <laughs> Let's see, you're, you're Mr. Monaghan? That's right. Oh, how old are you, my lad? 38. Fine broth of a bite. Thank you, sir. I, are you married? No. You say you're, you're a dancing teacher? Yes, sir. That's right. Imagine paying 10 cents for a dance with him. <laughs> Where do you teach this Fandango? Uh, down at Arthur Murray's on Wilshire Boulevard. You teach on Wilshire Boulevard? Isn't that kind of crowded? <laughs> what happens if the Wilshire bus decides to cut in? <laughs> oh, I forgot something. The, the secret word tonight is something you always have with you. And if either of you say it, you'll divide a hundred dollars. You know that? Uh, I'm watching your program. Now then, Esther, let, let's talk to you for a minute. Eh? Okay, Granta. Where are you from? I'm from Pinsk. <laughs> Still from Pinsk? Oh, yeah? yes. You're married, too, I imagine. Oh, right? yes, I am. What does Mr. Schulman do for a living? Well, he's a wholesale poultry dealer. He has a truck and goes out to the country and buys chickens, poultry, uh, chickens, eggs, and uh, goose, geese, ducks. And then he, he, he brings, buys goose and geese? <laughs> goose and geese. And brings them What's into the What's the house. difference between a goose and a geese? Well, I think one is a female and one's a male. <laughs> I wondered about that. I guess that's as good an answer as any. Maybe I better talk to this chicken expert that you're married. I'm the victim of foul play here tonight. Yes, I'm curious to see how you guys look when you're all together. George. Oh, playmate. Let's have those other sisters out here again. Bring on the girls. Oh, These things didn't happen when the Democrats were running the country. <laughs> now let's find out which is which. Sound off. Who are you? Thelma. I'm Esther Tanya. Now where are you three girls from? <laughs> Do you know the difference between goose and geese? <laughs> no. I don't know which one I asked before. <laughs> now is there any difference between the three of you, uh, Esther? No. No, there isn't. We have the same um, hair, the same weight, we have the same teeth and the same features. You have the same teeth? Yes, we do. <laughs> How about children? Uh, Thelma, do you have any? Boy and a girl. Sonia? I have a boy and a girl. And Esther? I'm Sonia. <laughs> I have a boy and a girl. I don't care who you are, what have you got? Boy and a girl. I got Jackson Ace. <laughs> now, where are you girls from? <laughs> 
what some people won't do just to make a fool out of me. <laughs> They're all about the same age, too. They're all the same Almost age? Almost the same age, with, with a few months uh, apart. Well, this has been very interesting, and I'm sure all Pinsk is happy about you girls tonight. That's about all they have to be happy about. <laughs> now, uh, would you uh, extra girls mind scramming while we continue no. up here? <laughs> Who was here last? I was. Esther, huh? Is this Esther? That's right. I knew they were triplets all the time. As soon as I saw all three of them together, I got suspicious. <laughs> Buck, uh, where were we, Mr. Mahanahan? Oh, yes, you're the dancing instructor, huh? That's right. I imagine you get all sorts of people at your place. Tell me, what kind do you prefer, the young, glamorous ones or the old, fat ones? That question will go down in history. <laughs> well, it, it really doesn't make any difference to me. That answer will go down in history. <laughs> He's a real dancing instructor, all right. His brains are in his feet. <laughs> Do you like to dance, uh, Sonia? I'm Esther. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Do you like to dance? Or... <laughs> We're not going to go through that again. We're going to stop this nonsense and play You Bet Your Life. Oh, <laughs> uh, you can win a lot of money here tonight. Just you beat our other couples and you'll get a chance at a thousand dollar question. Can't tell you how much you have to win, but uh, George is going to remind our listeners. Our first couple still leads with $288. Here we go. Let's see how high I can bring you $20. You selected songs about weather as your category. Here's your first question. How much will you bet? 18. We came in with a loaf of bread on our own. Okay, $18. Naked, naked, naked. 19 Okay, 19 All right, give me the title of this weather song. Okay, Jerry. <laughs> for a thousand dollars tonight. How much of the 39 would you bet? 38. Let's see if you can identify this one. Play, Mr. Feeling. It's raining. Raining. What's the title? When April Showers. April Showers is correct. <laughs> $77. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> it's your third question. You have $77. Now, how much are you going to bet? $77. All right. What is the name of this song? What a play. Having a heat wave. Having a heat wave. Having a heat wave is right. $153. And it's your last chance to be the other couple. How much of this sum are you going to bet? We can't say oh, As he said, he came here with nothing under his arm but a loaf of bread. Is that what you said? That's an expression. Well, that's like a cold region. Oh. Loaf of bread under your arm. Oh. All right, here we go for thousand dollars. I give you fifteen seconds to decide on a single answer between you. Think carefully and please no help in the audience. The name of a great Italian writer, historian, and statesman has become synonymous with craftiness and treachery because of his political intrigues in the 16th century. For $1,000, what is the name of this famous Italian schema? Talk it over. All right, what is the answer you two have decided upon? Machiavelli. Michiello Machiavelli. And I was, I was stupid enough to say that his brains was in his feet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the dancing master that knew who Machiavelli was, huh? Where did you pick that up? Oh, well, I, I subscribe to a lot of Machiavellian principles. <laughs> Well, that's quite evident. Uh, well, you went for... Uh, how much yeah. did they win? Uh, $306 in the quiz and $1,000 just now. For what? Add it up, Benjamin. $1,306. <laughs>
Be sure to tune in next week, same time, same station, for the Groucho Marx Show, You Bet Your Life. And don't forget Groucho Marx and You Bet Your Life on radio every Wednesday night. Brought to you by EarthoVision.